Welcome to general readings for, oh my gosh, we're in June already. Your money readings are going to look like this and your love readings are gonna look like this. And so you can be looking forward to those to come out throughout the month. So let's get started. Sagittarius. Okay, so they're saying, your intuition is telling you to put your fucking phone down. Too much screen time makes things awkward, makes them sad. Um, maybe now you can talk to a live person. Um, and the thing is, is that your individuality is a theme because it's going to help you get what you want. The uniqueness that is you, your quirks, maybe things that um, you didn't feel super comfortable with growing up, they're now what makes you special, okay? And they're the foundation for you achieving your dreams, for getting all the things that you want in your life. Um, so... Because, I mean, for example, Weird Al, right? He's just like basic as fuck Al or like normal Al or boring ass Al. He's a celebrity. He's successful. He's um, beloved <laughs> because he's weird. So that's you. Okay, beginning of the month. Things are out of the ordinary. And this is very similar to Scorpio. I may be the same exact two cards. and um, But... It's a time to get really super organized, to create a plan for yourself. The middle of the month, this is um, same sort of vibe, same exact thing here. It's like now follow the plan, now master your plan, you know, create a schedule for yourself and follow it to a T. Um, and by the time we get to the end of the month, now awesome new choices show up for you. Potentially this could be a new partner, it could be like a romantic partner, it could be a business partner, but it could just be a lot of options on the table for you. So the best part of the month for you is that new opportunities are coming, maybe more money, a chance to move to a bigger home, um, to buy a new car or something like that. The biggest challenge is that your instincts aren't always spot on and so that's why a schedule and a plan are super important for you so that it's foolproof to achieve everything you want to achieve. General guidance for you are saying, you know, think about what would make you happy. Like what material things in your life would you add? Um, what kind of things would you do if you had free time to spend with yourself? Like doing self-care is really important. It's the biggest and best investment you can make in the month because your indiv individuality, your personality, who you are is your biggest asset in June. If you need assistance with any of these energies, your crystals of the month um, look like this. You can find those in my blog page on the link below and I love you so much.